Today we're looking at brushes and uh, this is kind of part two of a video we've done already but <clears throat> this is looking at some other options that you can play uh, using using the brushes. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about um, two two main main things um, to start with the, the pattern that I use a lot <clears throat> and this is basically my it's not that I've invented it it's just my interpretation of, of uh, something I was taught originally to sweep using my using my left hand to the right hand side um, but I, I actually found it much more comfortable to sweep using um, the palm turned over and sweeping around to the left so um, I've done that and then I've actually played the jazz pattern again with the right hand um, but I've actually used a sweep uh, in there as well. So um, the first part of the pattern, this is um, number uh, letter A on the, on the PDF attached. Um, we use uh, a little sweep and then a big sweep. All right, so a little circle, big circle, little circle, big circle, a bit like this. Three and four and one. All right, and what you'll notice there is as I go up to do the big circle, just because the natural angle of my brush changes, there's a bit more brush on the head and you kind of get like a two and four thing happening. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, so that happens in the left hand. The right hand, like I said before, you could just play the jazz pattern like this. Three, four. But Sometimes what I like to do is actually do a little bit of a sweep on one and three, um, and then you know you sort of fill out the rest of the pattern around it. So you'll kind of get like a, a one, two, a three, four, a one, two. And this sort of emulates what it would be like to play an open hi-hat, like that kind of thing, okay? So if we join them together, we kind of get something like this, three, Okay, and the big circles, little circle thing, sometimes I, I swap them around if I feel like it, or sometimes I just do one continuous circle. I can do I can do one slow circle, but I just find I like having the pulse happening with the two circles. So um, that's just my pattern, all right? That's my interpretation of what I was taught and what I ended up doing, okay? So um, it does change sometimes, but yeah, so you, you have to sort of come up with your own, uh, you can copy it, you can come up with your own version of it, decide which way you want to circle, um, it's very important. So that's the first first thing I want to talk to you about. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about today, to start with, is the uh, the figure eight groove. And you saw me at the start sort of doing a continuous sort of sweeping motion, and it's really, really cool to kind of get one continuous sound happening on the drums while you can do other things, splash cymbals and, or, you know, splash your hats and that sort of thing. Um, really, really nice for ballads, all right? So basically, we're talking about a figure eight. So if you imagine the right hand doing a figure eight groove. Like that, okay? And the left hand does exactly the same thing, but theoretically starting at the bottom of the head. So from here. What I find is that I don't, when I'm playing it, I don't tend to necessarily do a mirror image of themselves. So I don't actually tend to do that sort of thing. Um, I find that one hand actually follows the other one, a bit like cat and mouse here, right? So it sort of looks a little bit more like this. Now, I think that's just happened because what I tend to do in my pattern is I tend to do a little bit of a, a flick towards the top and that gives me my two and four sort of accent, a little bit like this. Three and four. So as you can see, the pattern sort of changes a little bit there. All right, so that's my interpretation of a figure eight. You could just, you know, do complete opposites of each other. Obviously, you can't run into each other. That's a that's a problem. Okay, so something to think about. Something to think about there. All right. Another thing to do with the sweeping side of things is often what I would do is I I, I let my my right hand move away from the drums and play the toms or the or the cymbals and 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 a, and a really important thing is to keep the sweep happening on the snare drum. So. 
I'm just going to play a little bit for you now and, and you'll sort of see what I mean. A good thing to practice is to play the jazz pattern but move it around the drums and just try and keep the sweep thing happening, all right? And um, I'll probably inter, you know, go in and out of you know, my, my two circle thing or, or, um, or one circle. We'll see what happens. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so either way, you have some options there to try to muck around with anyway, as a as a you know a continuation or a, you know of letting them play brushes. So, like I said, it's a bit personal, um, and you know there's not one one right way to do it. I don't think. So, see what happens. Watch a lot of different videos and watch a lot of different different things. Listen to a lot of music is really really important. And then above all, just experiment and find what you um, reckon is important. Like I said, all this stuff is on a PDF available for you to take and um, use to your best abilities. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.